One of them is your fellow student, and we're surprising her today. Uh, so, uh, Victoria Morenzo, are you here today? Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley was at Central Middle in Edgewater Monday morning to name five people compassionate Marylanders, one of whom was 13-year-old Victoria Marenzel of Davidsonville. Well, this is very, very cool, isn't it? Uh, Victoria was nominated for this award for her efforts to help her neighbor, Scott Shapley, and his family, really, after Scott was diagnosed with ALS, and, uh, or Lou Gehrig's disease. She raised funds to help support the Shapley family, both by selling uh, ALS bracelets at her school and by reaching into her own savings account, doing everything that she could to help her neighbors because they needed her. Eighth grade students were lured to the auditorium and told they were there for a STEM talk. Only after the governor arrived were some suspicious. Marenzel was one of five to get a check for $5,000 for their charity. It's really wonderful that, you know, I, I say a lot that we're not just talking about reading, writing, and arithmetic. You know, we're trying to teach uh, you know, kids what to do with the reading, writing, and arithmetic. It's clear that Victoria already has learned that lesson. Victoria kept her remarks to a minimum. Here's Aurora Shapley, whose family Victoria has helped so much. And Halloween, ALS bracelets, and she collected hundreds of dollars that she donated directly to our family to, to help in whatever way we could use it. And it was really just fantastic. The Passionate Marylander Award, and we're very excited for her. She gives up a lot of her social time to help this family, and it's very deserving. Now, do you know who nominated her? No, one of our neighbors. Her name is June Dwyer. Right into my head, right away. I said, Victoria's the one. <laughs> and I thought it was important, because I think it's important that people know about students and how they are helping. They're not all do out there doing all those horrible teen things that they get accused of. Yeah. So how do you raise a compassionate daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're born that way. <laughs> she has a very, very big heart. I'm really excited yeah. for her because she does deserve it. So. Does she? Mm -hmm. So what does she do that's so compassionate? Um, well, she's always just looking to help other people, right. of course. It's the first time you really talk talk nicely about her. <laughs> no. <of course> not. <laughs> so today she gets treated special. Tomorrow back to normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'd say that's a little bit of fun. Until uh, two o'clock. <laughs>